Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in chat LLM Teams and I've got something awesome to show you. I have recently covered their artifact windows, including artifact windows using React, as well as their AI engineer functionality for chatbots. But this, this is different and this is very, very cool. In this video, I'm gonna very quickly show you how you can transform static data into dynamic interactive insights. And in particular, with respect to dynamic graphing. If you are a business analyst, a data analyst, a graphic designer, or anybody that's ever had to work on or create a report, this video is especially for you because this functionality is gonna make your job a whole lot easier. Let me show you how. All right, to get started, it's very easy. Just head over to Chat LLM Teams. The link is in the description below here, and then you'll get a couple options. The one you wanna do, if you're new to it, is just click on Get Started. Before you click that button though, keep in mind that this is only $10 per user per month. It is half the price of a single ChatGPT4 license. So for half the price, you get access to all of the state-of-the-art LLMs and all the features and functionality you're gonna see in this video and in my previous videos. I don't know how they do it. It's a steal of a deal, but they do it. So there we go. Click on Get Started. We're gonna load into the back end, and now let's get cooking. All right, once you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks similar, if not identical to this. This is Chat LLM Teams. Now you can do a couple things here. The first thing I like to do is I'll click on this down arrow and notice here that I can select which LLM I want to use. And this has access to the best open source and the best premium stuff here. It's got all the best ones. So we've got 4 Omni here, GPT-4 Omni, Claude Sonnet at 3.5, Llama 3.1, 405B, Gemini 1.5 Pro, for example. All of that's in here and more. In this case, we're going to use GPT-4 Omni but you can use a different one. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste in the prompts that I wanna use. So I've already written the prompt out, so I'm just gonna save some time here. Paste it in, and here we go. Please create a detailed analysis and summary with stock recommendations by thoroughly reviewing the attached Tesla Q2 earnings report. So we're gonna upload a document to go with this prompt. I'll show you that in one second here. Additionally, put together an interactive and visually appealing React dashboard that is highly detailed. So it's gonna open up an artifact window and it is wild here. I know this was just released the other day. Well, Chat LLM Teams has that. It uses React and yeah, it, it has all the bells and whistles. So here we go. The next step then based on this prompt is I gotta drop in the document, the Tesla Q2 earnings report. So I'll open up Finder here. If you're on a PC, you may wanna use your Explorer and I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here. It's in a PDF format. You can drop, you can upload PDFs, .docs, Excel files, etc. This one's a PDF, here we go. So our prompt is ready, the document is attached. All you gotta do now is click on this little go button. However, do keep in mind that if I'm, if you wanted to switch to Claude Sonnet, for example, I'm gonna keep it with 4Omni, but you can switch it anytime. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the button. It's gonna now go ahead and analyze the document. It should take just a few, holy smokes, it's ready to go and it's cooking for us as I talk here. So there you go. First step here is it's giving us the detailed analysis and summary as requested, and look at that, it goes into quite a bit of detail, actually, revenue, profitability, cash flow, op okay, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> uh, full self-driving, dri oh wow, it really goes into it. AI training capacity, okay, good. Next here, you'll see that it's going ahead and cook up the uh, coding, so it's gonna show us the code and the exact code that's being used to create the dashboard. Always keep in mind that you can click on copy code at any time, and let's see what we got here. Okay, the code's done. And now we've got a dashboard here and we've got some graphs. Now this is dynamic here, so you can go ahead and of course you can preview the code here and then you can also click on preview and you'll see the images or the graphing. So here we go. We've got revenue breakdown, profitability, cash flow, vehicle production, vehicle deliveries. Holy smokes, we got it all here. And if we want to go ahead and put that in one of our other programs like PowerPoint or Photoshop or whatever, you can always just download the code or you can take <laughs> snapshots of the images if you prefer, if you're a graphic designer, and recreate it. But however that works, go ahead and click on the code, copy it, just like I've done here, and preview, and there you go. Also, top right here, you're going to see a download button. We can download a PDF version and a Word document. Now, also, while I got you here and we're on a roll, you'll notice up here I've got a few other tabs open. When I click on that here, this is, for example, this is what we just did here. This is the uh, for Omni version, you'll see here, it's very similar. But check this out, what if we want, no, pardon me, this is Claude Sonnet 3.5. I 
This is the Sonnet 3.5 version. So you'll see here that it says here it was done in Claude's Sonnet 3.5. And if we go down, we can see what it did as well. So we're not stuck or limited to a single LLM. You can go ahead and use multiple LLMs, compare, contrast the results. Maybe you'll get a better looking uh, dashboard on one of the LLMs versus the other. Maybe you'll get alternative graphs, whatever. It's all there, guys. It's awesome. Chat LLM Teams is a fantastic tool. I cannot recommend it highly enough. It just keeps adding new things every day. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching.